welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. So for the video today, I am super excited to be partnering with Chromebooks. They are sponsoring this video. They reached out and sent me a Chromebook, which is always great because I love to be able to try to like try out new products for you guys and let you know what I think of them. And as you know, I always give my 100% honest opinion. So if you have been around on the internet for a while or you've been paying attention to the world, you've probably heard of a Chromebook. Um, but if you haven't, they're basically like a tablet laptop hybrid. That's the best way that I can think of to describe it. They don't run um, any operating system that you would typically expect to find on a traditional laptop. They run something that's called Chrome OS, which is an app-based operating system, um, and it's uh, Android apps, so you can get the Google Play Store. So any of the apps that you can find on the Google Play Store, you can get on the Chromebook, which is pretty cool. So you've got access to a bunch of cool apps and fun things like that, as well as like all your Google Docs and your Gmail. So you can keep everything organized and synced together with your Google account, with your Google Docs, with your Google Drive, all of that good stuff. So that makes them pretty great for day-to-day -day life and they're definitely very affordable for students. Most of the models are pretty inexpensive, especially compared to a lot of other laptops out there. And they're super small and lightweight. So this is like really thin. Um, and the battery power is pretty great as well. I think this one lasts for something like 10 hours. So the Chromebook that Google sent me to try out is the Samsung Chromebook Pro. And there's a specific reason that I wanted to try this one out. And that is because it has a pressure sensitive stylus um, and a touch screen. So that was something that I was like, mm. I could make art with that. Now this is already a great product if you're a student and you want to keep your life organized, you want something really lightweight to take to classes, you can type up your stuff and it's automatically going to be saved in your cloud. I typed up my script for this video actually earlier on my Chromebook and then I actually opened it on the laptop that I use to record with and I didn't have to like do anything, it was just automatically there in my Google Drive which was really cool. So these are already great if you're a student, high school, if you're going into college, but this is an art channel, so what I really wanted to do was see what I could do with the art on a Chromebook. How would it work for an artist? Could you draw on it? Could you, what else could you do on it? Um, what things are gonna be useful for you guys, specifically as artists? I spent some time digging around in the App Store and I tried quite a few different painting programs, some of which were definitely better than others. I also found some other cool artsy programs like this really awesome modeler. You can use this to pose and model in whatever way you want and there's also a bunch of preset poses. Some of them you can unlock by watching ads and other ones are um, available in a pro version. Um, obviously this isn't like anatomically perfect or even really close, but it can be a really great reference just when you're trying to come up with pose ideas. I know I am so bad at coming up with ideas for poses, um, especially if you're going to combine this with photo reference. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're just looking for inspiration or anything like that, that's another great use for it. Um, so I'm going to pick a preset pose and then I can actually export it out and it's going to save right to the Chromebook. So then I can open that in a drawing and painting program. So the other cool thing about this Chromebook is basically the screen flips around completely. So and when you flip it around, the keyboard on the bottom also disables. So you can put it on your lap and it won't like press the keys and mess everything up, which is pretty useful. It's actually really compact. The stylus also fits into the side of the laptop. So you just press it and the stylus pops right out, which is really, really cool. Um, speaking of the side of the laptop, you can kind of see there's not any USB ports, but there is, this is the coolest thing ever in my opinion. <laughs> there's two plugs for the power cable. There's a plug on either side, which I just felt like I should mention because I think every single laptop slash tablet slash everything should do that from now on because that is straight up a genius idea. So the program that I ended up finding that worked pretty well was is called Painter um, and I really really like it. It's pretty easy to use and it has pretty much all the tools that I could want. Um, it comes with a bunch of different brushes but you can also create your own and download new ones as well and all the brushes are pretty much fully customizable and you can do quite a lot with it. You can customize the flow, the opacity, um, pen pressure, whether the pen pressure is like going to be the stroke, the flow, um, both of them, and a bunch more other different things. So definitely super customizable. It also has layers. It has a color wheel, and that's customizable as well. You can go into the settings, and you can customize the layout of the color wheel itself. 
Um, it's honestly a pretty well-rounded program for painting and drawing. Um, it's one of the most well-rounded apps I've seen. It is free for seven days and then you have to pay for it, so definitely try it out before you buy it, but I did like it a lot. Um, as far as how the stylus works, the pressure sensitivity works pretty well. As you can see, there is sort of a flickering as the lines and the strokes settle on the actual program, but that was something that the program does. It's almost like an animation as it draws. Um, and it can have a little bit of a lag, but again, that was also the program. I didn't experience that in other programs with the stylus. So I found that it was best to work intentionally and slow down. So as I said, the pressure sensitivity on the stylus is pretty good, especially with this program. Um, although it's not super ergonomic, it's pretty thin and short since it fits into the laptop. That's kind of something that you sacrifice. Um, it's obvious that it was made more for writing notes um, and doing little doodles, um, which by the way, that's another really cool thing that you can do if you are looking at this for school and you prefer handwritten notes. You can take handwritten notes in your class and they'll automatically be digitized, but they'll still be handwritten, which is really cool. Um, I know my sister likes to do that a lot, so that could be something that you're interested in, especially if you like to color coordinate your notes, then you don't have to carry around like 80,000 pens. It'd actually be really interesting to try digital bulleting, bullet journaling with the Chromebook. You guys know I'm obsessed with bullet journaling and it would be really cool to try a digital bullet journal. Um, but yeah, it works surprisingly well um, and it honestly really isn't that uncomfortable to use at all um, despite the fact that it is not super ergonomic. Uh, I didn't really have any issues holding it for an extended period of time, um, especially if you're going to be using it for quick sketches, for concepts, for getting out your ideas when you're on the go. I think it works really, really well. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this guy. You can make lists, you can bullet journal, you can do your notes, you can watch your Netflix, you can do your Google Calendar, anything that you can do on a laptop, anything you can do on a tablet, plus you can draw, um, take handwritten notes. Um, yeah, it's even got a webcam and a micro SD slot, so it's a pretty cool little notebook, to be completely honest. So obviously it's not made specifically for large drawings or large full-scale paintings, but I think if you're looking for something like your student and you're looking for something to help you organize your life, take notes in class and do some quick sketches on the go, some quick concepts, maybe do a digital bullet journal, I think this would be a perfect fit for that. You get the benefits of a tablet with the touch screen and the easy portability, but you also get the benefits of a physical laptop with the keyboard. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's a pretty good notebook, um, especially for somebody that's on a budget, especially if you're looking for something that's kind of an all-rounder, um, you know, something that you can take everywhere, um, do pretty much all your basic stuff with, but also get a couple benefits of digital painting and digital art. So have you guys ever used a Chromebook? What do you think of them? What is your thoughts on this whole Chromebook? Thing. Do you have one? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know what you think down below. I'm really curious to hear all of your thoughts on this subject. If you found this video helpful, um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks again to Chromebook for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, like I said, it's always great when I get to try products for you guys and let you know what I think of them. So that is pretty much it. If you are new here and you would like to subscribe, hit that notification bell up in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. I do upload new videos every single Friday. If you're not already, don't forget to follow me on my social media. It is at Hello Alice on pretty much everything. I tweet a lot, so if you want to kind of uh, get to know me a little bit, I try to reply to people on twi Twitter. Twitter? 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 Anyway, that is it for this video, so thanks so much for watching, and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys! Of every product that I'm sent. Dang it, I finally made it through that sentence and I forgot to turn my phone on side. Momo! Monique Renee, you're ruining the video right now. My throat feels so scratchy. I feel like my voice is like this this whole video.